either the goodwill or the capital that whichever is more whichever is more should come on the balance sheet so what is the total number of shares we are having 10000 share out of which 6000 share is acquired by p limited the balance 400 share goes to subsidiary minority while you are calculating the balance sheet you have to take the profit of the holding company at revenue profit you have to take the reserve of the holding company at the revenue reserve hello my dear student i am dr b s subramanya called by name dr b s s professor in commerce and management vidyashram first aid college a temple of excellence mysuru following are the balance sheet of p limited it's a subsidiary q limited so p is called holding company q is called subsidiary company where p taking over the q limited now so if you see that now Investment in six thousand share P Limited invested about six thousand shares of Q Limited. So he take the majority. If you see that now they have got one lakh rupees. So one lakh divided by ten is ten thousand share. One lakh divided by ten is ten thousand share. They have they acquired how many share? Six thousand shares is there. So if you see this balance sheet, then shares in Q Limited were acquired on first July. Acquired on which day? July means after six months. So it start with January, end with December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Six months. Q limited are one one two eighteen thousand general reserve and fourteen thousand in profit end loss account included in credit or Q limited is twelve thousand per good supplied. So before the acquisition, there is a relation between the P and Q. So who is supplied included in the credit or Q limited P is twelve thousand good supplied by B. P supply the goods to Q limited. Q is the purchase on credit purchaser. Q become the debt or and. P becomes a creditor. When they become one and the same, the question of debtor and creditor does not arise at all. So what you do? Add both the creditor, deduct the mutual amount of twelve thousand. Add both the debtor, deduct twelve thousand as a mutual adjustment. Prepare the consolidated balance sheet. So consolidated balance sheet and holding companies one and the same. So we'll go one by one. This is the general reserve. This is a profit and loss account acquired after six months. Total number of shares in Q Limited is one lakh divided by ten is ten thousand shares are there. Out of six thousand share acquired by P Limited, the balance four hundred share goes in favor of Q Limited. So what is the total number of shares we are having? Ten thousand share out of which six thousand share is acquired by P Limited. The balance four hundred share goes to subsidiary minority. So P is to Q. Six thousand is to four thousand. They are in the ratio of three is to two. We'll move on. Total profit in Q Limited as per the balance sheet. See that total profit is sixty thousand minus capital profit as per the here. What's your capital profit is there? Fourteen thousand at the time of acquisition. Total profit is sixty thousand. Minus capital profit is fourteen thousand. How much available? Forty six thousand. Acquired after how many months? Six months is forty six thousand divided by two is twenty three thousand. Balance is the revenue profit. This is revenue. Twenty three thousand. So capital profit. Fourteen thousand plus twenty three thousand thirty seven thousand. Revenue profit is twenty three thousand. Reserve. Total reserve Q Limited is thirty thousand. Total reserve available general reserve is how much? Thirty thousand minus capital reserve as per the adjustment is eighteen thousand. The balance is twelve thousand. This is the revenue reserve. Reserve for six months twelve thousand six thousand. Balance is that. So total capital reserve means eighteen thousand plus six thousand is twenty four thousand. The balance six thousand goes as revenue reserve. I will explain once again slowly. The total profit as per the balance sheet is sixty thousand. Profit available in the adjustment is called capital profit. Before acquisition is fourteen thousand. Balance is forty six thousand. Acquired in first July means after six thousand. Out of forty six thousand, twenty three thousand becomes the revenue profit. Twenty three thousand becomes the 
capital profit. So total capital profit, 14,000 plus 23,000 is 37,000. Your revenue profit is 23,000. If you add both, now totally both will be added and it becomes the 60,000. Reserve, total reserve of the Q limited as per the balance sheet is 30,000 minus capital reserve which is available in the what's called adjustment is 18,000 difference is 12,000 occurred after how many months six months half of that means 6,000 another 6,000 so we already capital is 18,000 plus 6,000 24,000 the capital is there the balance 6,000 goes to revenue reserve then as per the problem the total number of shares in q limited 1 lakh divided by 10 is 10000 share out of that p limited acquire 6000 share 4000 goes in favor of q limited the share value is 10 so 4000 into 10 is 40000 the total profit as per the balance sheet is 60000 minus capital profit is 37000 balance is 23000 is the revenue profit we already calculated what is some capital profit see that working note we have got totally 37000 revenue profit capital profit is 37000 23000 so they are in the ratio of we already did the ratios here. 3 is to 2. So, 3 by 5 of 37,000 is 22,000, 22,200, 2 by 5 is 14,800. We divided the entire 37,000 in the ratio of 3 to 2. Some portion goes to holding company, some portion goes to subsidy company. 37,000 has been divided in the ratio of 3 is to 2, 3 by 5 and 2 by 5. So, 22,200 goes in favor of P limited, whereas 14,800 goes in favor of Q limited. Same thing revenue profit available is 23,000 this also be divided in the ratio of 3 to 2 3 by 5 and 2 by 5 3 by 5 work out 13,800 9,200 the general reserve available is 30,000 see that general reserve available is 30,000 in the balance sheet minus capital reserve is 18,000 it goes here out of 30,000 minus capital is 24,000 revenue 6,000 it has been divided in the ratio of 3 by 5 and 2 by 5. 3 by 5 goes to 14,402 P limited this is a holding company 9,600 goes to minority whatever come that should be shared in the ratio of 3 is to 2. Then 6,000, 3,600, 2,000. The entire 76,000 is goes to subsidy company that is the minority. It will come on the lab reserve of the balance sheet. Hope you understand that. Then cost of investment, if you see the question paper here, cost of investment is 85,000. They paid for how many share? 6,000 share. They are paying how much money? 85,000. 85,000 they pay for how many share? 6,000. What is the face value? 6,000 into 10 is 60,000 only. 6,000 into 10 is 60,000. How much excess paid is 25,000. The excess amount we called as a goodwill. The excess amount we called as a goodwill. Already existing goodwill in the balance sheet. We have got 20,000 plus 10,000. See that? The whole balance sheet already existing. 20,000 and 10,000 existing is there, 30. So, 30, 25 plus 30 is 55,000. You see the capital profit is 22,200, capital reserve is 14,400. Totally here, the, the capital profit, capital reserve work out 36,600, whereas goodwill work out 55,000. I told you in the last session also, goodwill is more, goodwill will come on the asset side of the balance sheet. If the capital reserve is more, it will come on the liability side of the Balance sheet, 18,400 is a good will. It will come on the asset side of the balance sheet. Then go with a vertical balance sheet. This is called consolidated balance sheet. As on 31st December, it is a consolidated balance sheet. The date of the balance sheet as per the, it goes like this. 31st December 2012, capital consolidated. On 12 exam. So, shareholder fund, share capital of the P limited is 2,50,000. General reserve, if you see that general reserve, the balance sheet, 75,000 belongs to P limited. Add the revenue reserve here. General reserve is 75,000 plus revenue reserve is 3,600. It becomes 78,600. If you want, you can see that here. Capital reserve, revenue reserve is there now. Already divided. What is the capital reserve? 
here 3600 this is your revenue reserve this is your revenue profit which is left out then profit and loss account is 70000 plus revenue profit is 13800 it become 83800 the minority interest plus as per the working note is 76000 there is no long term loan current liability in the balance sheet, you have got a P, you have got a totally 70,000. In the adjustment, there is a mutual adjustment of 12,000, 58,000. BP of the both the companies should be added because it's a consolidated balance sheet. BP of P, P, P is 7,000. Totally, it will tally for 5,53,400. Come back to asset side, fixed asset, P limited, 2 lakh, Q limited, 1 lakh. It is called tangible asset, goodwill is called intangible asset, fixed asset. PQ 2 lakh plus 3 lakh 20 in goodwill is 18,400. There is no investment at all. Current asset stock P 80,000 Q 30 become 1 lakh 10,000. Debt are as per the balance sheet 60,000, 50,000, 1 lakh 10,000 minus mutual adjustment is 12,000. It becomes 98,000 regarding the cash. P is 5,000, Q is to totally 7,000. If we add the figure, the total balance sheet will tally for 5,53,400. While you are calculating the balance sheet, you have to take the profit of the holding company, add revenue profit. You have to take the reserve of the holding company, add the revenue reserve. You must be very careful. I will repeat. While you are doing the balance sheet, you have to take the total profit of the holding company plus revenue profit. Total reserve of the holding company, add the revenue reserve, add both the data, both the credit are, any adjustment is there, that a mutual adjustment should be done. Both the asset is called consolidated balance sheet or holding company, both are one and the same. So they will consolidate each other, P combined with the Q company becomes one and the same, it is called consolidated balance sheet. If the amount paid more, it will be another point no regarding the goodwill no. Either the goodwill or the capital reserve, whichever is more, whichever is more should come on the balance sheet. If the reserve is more, it will come on the liability side of the balance sheet. If the goodwill is more, goodwill will come on the asset side of the balance sheet. You must be careful about that. Hope, understand that. I already solved about the four problems are considered. So, we'll go with the, the most important date. So, the date of acquisition is most important. At the time of acquisition is a capital profit. After acquisition is a revenue profit. At the time of reserve acquisition, it is called capital reserve. After the acquisition, it is called the revenue reserve is considered. We must be very careful. Capital profit before acquisition, revenue profit after acquisition, capital reserve before acquisition, revenue reserve after acquisition. If we know that consolidate each if there is any data, any creditor is available in the adjustment, deduct from the data, deduct from the creditor. If the BR and BP is available in the adjustment, deduct from BR, deduct from BP. That's called mutual adjustment because they become the consolidated balance sheet. Hope you understand. We'll have some more good problem in the next session. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next class with another good problem.